Welcome to our next social studies unit, focusing on community. Over the next few weeks, we will study what a community is, different types of communities, and how we play a part in communities. Today, we will focus on two vocabulary words. The first one is community. A community is a place where people work and live together. Our next word is citizen. A citizen is a person who lives in a community. Let's learn a little bit more about communities. A community is a group of people that live, work, and play together. People in communities live near each other. They work together. They spend time in the same places like schools and parks. They help one another. When people think of a community, they usually think of a city or town. That's true. Cities and towns are communities where people live, work, and play. But there are other examples of communities. A school is a community. So is a classroom. A home is also an example of a community. Any place where people live or work together is an example of a community. You are a member of many communities. Let's take a look at what some of these communities look like. First of all, let's look right in the center here. We see home. Home is a community where you and your family live. That home is on a street. Now that street is made up of lots of different homes. So it's a little bit bigger of a community. Then we can branch out to your neighborhood. Your neighborhood is made up of different streets, which have different homes on them. We then get a little bit bigger to towns cities and villages. They are made up of different neighborhoods, which are made up of different streets, which are made up of different homes. So I live on a street called Carlene Drive. My home is on this street. My neighborhood has four or five homes in it. We live in the city of Gloversville. Now, if we want to branch out to a bigger community, we look at our county. We live in Fulton County. It's made up of different towns and villages and cities like Mayfield, Gloversville, Broad Alban. Then we look at our neighborhoods. So my neighborhood is right behind Jake's neighborhood. They're back to back. Our streets are back to back as well. So my neighborhood and street are right behind Jake's neighborhood. Jake's neighborhood is made up of a few different streets. If you live in the village of Mayfield, you have a rather large neighborhood made up of many streets and there's many, many homes surrounding you. Then we get even bigger and we look at our state. We live in the state of New York, which is made up of many counties, many towns, cities, and villages, many neighborhoods, many, many streets, and an unimaginable number of homes. So if we can think of going from small to bigger, we can look at all of these different communities that we are a part of. We will take a look at many of these pieces over the course of this unit. Let's take a look at what Mayfield looks like. Here we can see a map of our village of Mayfield with the elementary school, the high school, and here's the village with 1st Avenue, 2nd Avenue. Okay, we've got Mr. Pizza over here, Stewart's, 
Dunkin' Donuts, and this is Swartz's favorite. All right. All of this is part of our community. After you're done watching this video, I'm going to have you watch two more short videos that are going to give you some more in-depth knowledge of what a community is and some ideas that we're going to take a closer look at throughout the rest of our unit and hopefully will spark some questions and ideas for you. Thanks for listening along carefully and I am so excited to learn about communities with you. See you soon, friends.